Hey everybody, happy afternoon. So, um, today has been nice and busy here at Yatla. We've had quite a few coaching conversations with a few people, utilizing this time to get on to understanding a little bit more about when you're doing your shopping, what's gonna be the best things for you to be buying to be improving your health and improving your immune system in this hard time. Um, also understanding where our money, like there is so much importance with, the, with so much um, chaotic energy going around, it's a really good time to check in with yourself and maybe readjust your budget, maybe readjust your um, uh, how you're spending your time, how you're spending your energy, how, um, how you're spending your days, what really matters to you to tick off each day to help get through the processes and create systems and structures for yourself around um, your lifestyle. Use this time really, really wisely to, to cross your T's and dot your I's. That's my tidbit for today about mindset and coaching and uh, the importance of why coaching is so good for you guys here in the Vulcan community. Every session that I've done today has been really massive and empowering for each of the staff members. Um, I've got, like I said, some people are focusing on budgeting, some people are focusing on their shopping list, some people have realized that they are, because of the panic and whatnot, they've fallen back into old habits and have quickly found themselves feeling quite atrocious just because of the bad choices they've been making as a result of the additional stress. So this is a really important time, guys, to jump in and start ensuring that you are um, just watching yourself, watching what you're allowing, what you're putting into your system, because ultimately those things will be very much uh, affecting how you're able to cope with everything. So today I decided I would name the uh, workout of the day Dicey Times. I just went to the $2 shop, and there's actually six different dice that I have in the bag, and did um, six different colored, oh, so I'm, I'm gonna use four colored dice today, and they are going to be to go on to, dun dun dun, the Dicey Times work up, Workout. So we've got push-ups, burpees. Now if you are a, hey Janice, so if you are a uh, connector, you will not be doing burpees. That's right, I said connectors will not do burpees or if you have blood pressure problems. The reason being that this will actually highly, um, can put you guys at a lot more risk. So for our connectors and our um, persons who may have high blood pressure conditions, I'm going to pop you down here and I'm going to demonstrate for you what you're going to do. So a burpee would normally be jump, come down, touch the ground, come back up again and jump again. But if you're a connector or someone with uh, high blood pressure problems, you're going to do your jumps all at once. So if you roll the dice and it gives you a five, you're going to do five jumps, two, three, four, five, and then you would come down and do from here your jump in. So one, two, three, four, five. And that will be your burpee for today's program. So the aim of the game is that you take your dice and for each of your rounds, you're gonna roll your dice. You will pick out which color is which exercise. And that way, no one's telling you what you have to do. It's up to the dice as to how many reps of that exercise you're going to do. So I'm gonna choose, I'll just line it up. Orange will be for push-ups. Um, burpees will be purple. Row will be yellow. And toe taps will be red. Let me just get them in a line. Two, three, and four. And I got some horrible numbers there. I will share with you. Ready? There we go. So we had, I'll get you here with the wall. Da da da. We had push ups, burpees, two, thank goodness, row toe taps and then skipping I'm going to roll one of the dice another turn and that will tell me how many skips for this round. So you could set a timer and you could go through and you could do, uh, I'll flick you around, set a timer and see how many times you can roll the dice, how many rounds you can get through um, in that time frame. You could set this up where you just go for three rounds or four rounds because that just makes logical sense to you and that's fine if that feels safe and capable. Um, but I'm going to go through each of the exercises now. We'll have a play. I got five push-ups, two burpees, 
winning. Uh, row was five. Now with the row, there'll be a few different variations I'll go through. And toe taps. Now I want to keep this one quite simple because anyone can do this anywhere. If you don't have a skipping rope, then you can just fake skip. Right? So if you guys are at home, Denise, if you're at home, honey, you guys can do this one as well with me. Um, can do it now or do it later. Maybe show us a, um, and if, if you don't have dice and you cannot go get some dice, another way of doing this is just getting six pieces of paper and scrunching them up, writing a, oh, sorry, six pieces of paper and writing one to six on them and then scrunching them up and you've just got to pick one out and that gives you how many you have to do for each of those exercises. Cool. Um, so let me demonstrate. So today with the push-ups, Gotta love, I need to have an assistant in here. So with your push-ups, hands, shoulder width, feet, just slightly shoulder width-ish. The wider you are, the more stable you are with less movement through the body. More narrow is more advanced. So from here, I'm gonna go slightly wider than my shoulder. And you wanna ensure that you are coming down. If you need to have your knees on the ground, please know there's no problem with having your knees on the ground. But what I want you to focus on, if you can't do a full push-up, Come down, controlled to the ground, and if you flop there and you can't push back up again, that's okay. Drop down, put your knees on the ground, and push back up however you need to to get back up. But I really want you to focus on the downward phase, because this will assist us the most on building the muscle strength and stability, um, so that then eventually you'll start coming down and ooh, push, and you'll be able to come back up again. Okay, so going through that one, I'm gonna do it on my knees, because I did do an amazing chest session the other day at my gym. So from here, I'm gonna, on my knees, all the way down, touch, come back up. I'm gonna come back here so you can see my elbows. My elbows are, touch, come back up. They aren't out wide and coming up here into my shoulders. This is a shoulder push-up. We're making sure it is a chest push-up. I will come onto the side so you guys can see it. So this would be a, a wide shoulder push-up. Here, when I've got my hands in the right position, you can see my elbows are going to come back, shoulder blades back, touch, coming back up again for five. I think I've just done five there. Burpees, I'm going to do a full burpee. So it will be, because I've only got two, it will be jump, coming down, touch the ground, push back up, jump, come back down, touch the ground, come back up, and finish on your jump. Then I've got five rows. So... Janice, if you're at home and you've got some stretch bands, go for it with the stretch bands um, and wrap them around your feet. If you don't quite know how to do that one, jump back to the workout that was done on Wednesday. Oh, actually, you know you what, guys? We're here. We're committed. I'll show you how to do both of them. If you have a resistance band, it is wrapping it around your feet just below the little, the, the, um, the arch of your feet, and then wrapping it around the foot and coming back. Less chance of it slipping off and slapping you in the face. Just a side note there. From here you want to be, if you have any back problems, a slight bend in the knees, and we're going to be leaning back ever so slightly. From here, Legs, if you want to go straight without hurting your back, go for it. But generally, I would say just a slight bend in the knees, chest up, shoulders back, shoulders away from your ears. And from here, we're just going to row it in nice and tight, back towards the body. Uh, rotate the hands out so your hands are facing the ground. And then as you come towards yourself, pull them in, out towards the ground, in towards the sides of the body. Let me know any thoughts or questions, guys, along the way. Rowing them through, I've got five, two, three, four, five. If you're in a gym or you're at home where you've got suspension straps of some form, I don't know where I'm gonna put you to be able to record this one, but here we go. Let's have a go at this one. If you have suspension straps, like I have here, taking these ones, Coming underneath, and this would be your row option also. Down flat, pulling yourself up and through, control the body, keeping nice and flat. You don't want to be dropping your bum. You don't want to have you leaning by your hips. You want to have a nice, straight, strong torso, arms facing uh, down away from you, your shoulders away from your ears, 
rowing and rotating your hands up and in and control the drop phase. Squeeze the back muscles, come all the way up and control the drop. Breathe in. For five. The last exercise is toe taps. This one is a core exercise. So I'm gonna do that one just over here. Janice, I need you in. Hey Carl, thanks for joining. We're just doing a dice game workout. So this one here is the toe taps. So you roll the dice to give you the number of exercise, uh, reps on the exercise and go through for either a certain amount of time to see how many rolls of the dice you can do, or just pick two, three, four, five sets and, um, and go for it. So this one is the toe tap. So laying flat on your back, bend the knees, bring your feet up and straight as much as you can. And from here, all I'm gonna do is bring my hands up and try to tuck in my neck. I don't wanna have you guys with like a, a, a kinked neck at all. I'm tucking the head and we're just gonna come up, tap the toes. Two, three, four. If that's too much and you can't make it that far, just come up the shins as far as you can. Up the shins or even outside the shins. Up, up for the required number. Five, six, nice. And then go through and roll the dice again. So, oh wait, I've got skipping. I said to you guys I would roll the dice for a skip. Let's give it... Give you guys all the proof. How many skips? And I'm going to make you do it that if you roll the dice and it gives you any number, it's actually um, timing it by 10. So I've got 40 skips to complete. And then I'm going to roll all the dices again. Dices, dice. Roll them all again for my next round. So it's a five, a four, or oh, four burpees this round, a one. One row, that'll be nothing. And a one, so this is gonna be a very fast round. But you can see how you can potentially speed through a massive amount of reps or a massive amount of rounds and create a really effective workout, guys. It doesn't have to be boring. It can be really um, varied. It can be very different. So it's a dicey game today. We've gone through push-ups, burpees, rows, toe taps, and now we're in for skipping. Like I said, if you don't have a skipping rope, maybe you could just fake skip which may feel a bit silly, but it's still very, very effective. And that one is just bouncing your toes. One, two, rotating your wrists. Three, four. I've got 40, so I'm just gonna do a fake skip. Nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Still get your heart rate up. Still get your breath out. Nine, 10. And for our endomorphs in the community, all of our guardians and our diplomats, your calf muscles are at weak point yet a strength. Obviously, we've all got very big um, calves. With our immune systems being, with our immune systems requiring extra assistance, working on your calves, whether that just be simple calf raises, just standing there and just doing some calf raises on your toes, or some skipping can actually be incredibly beneficial to improving your lymphatic drainage, therefore assisting your system and its immunities to boost and detoxify themselves more effectively. So skipping is actually a wonderful way of keeping on top of everything at the moment with what's going on in the world. So yay for skipping. That's one of the reasons why I chose it is because uh, right now we could all do with a little more skipping. So give that a go, guys. Go through, roll your dice, go through the training program, um, have a good workout, send me through some photos or some proof. If you don't have dice, remember, cut up six pieces of paper, put a one, two, three, four, five, six on each of them, uh, scrunch them up and just roll those and see which one you choose for each exercise. Um, I'd love to see whether you do it for time and to see how many times through you can do it, how many laps of it in that time frame or whether you just have a set number of, of um, sets that you want to do um, and let us know how it goes. Let me know how that feels. What is your body? How did your body respond to it? Now is the time to really, really be looking after ourselves, staying on top of your fitness. You know you feel better when you train. You know your mind works better, your digestion works better, your ability to cope with stress and reactivity is 
far better. So now is the time to really jump on into this, guys, and just stay on top of it. For most of you, um, you will have just been told that Yatler is opening back up next week. Woohoo! So we will be guns blazing. I've already had several people drop in to me, very excited that the gym is opening again. Um, and we will do our best to help you guys maintain your stress reduction, your fitness your uh, your health in general and just your motivation and positivity around the workforce as you all know if someone comes in with a terrible mood you will all feel it and reap, ben reap not the benefit you will all uh, via osmosis contract their negativity but if you come in with a positive energy positivity far outweighs the negative and you can combat those grumpy people and potentially help them have a better day too so do your part work on your mindset your health your fitness and uh, contribute to a better workplace, workplace and a healthier environment for all.